good afternoon class and welcome to Mac 106. This is writing 2. For this afternoon, I'll be showing you an example of a research output duly presented in an international research conference. Watch and try to learn from it. Commitment rating and work satisfaction of PSU faculty with multi dissertations, a basis for a mathematical model. I'm Putinciano D. Conte Jr. with my co researcher, Dr. Paulo Vicenas from Pangasinan State University in Gayen, Pangasinan, Philippines. Performance Commitment Rating, or IPCR, is a tool utilized in the implementation of the Strategic Performance Management System, or SPMS, among state universities and colleges in the Philippines. It aims to continuously foster the improvement of individual faculty vis-a-vis -vis organization. Rating of PSU faculty is based on their performances and their different functions. Guidelines in the establishment of agency strategic performance management system were communicated and required to all heads of constitutional bodies, departments, agencies, national government, LGUs, GOCCs, and state universities and colleges by the Civil Service Commission in 2012. The matrix shows the numerical rating with its adjectival description for the performance of an employee from poor, that is 1, to outstanding, that is 5. Studies on SPMS are available publicly examining SPMS in the Philippine national agencies. But none of these had looked into rating an employee with multi-designations. Job satisfaction, meanwhile, is a product of good working environment because work environment can provide work satisfaction. And speaking of job satisfaction, is considering occupational hazards in the workplace. Ergonomic hazards and psychological hazards are two of the six types of work hazards in the workplace. A significant relationship exists on the perceived productivity and working environment and the morale of the workers. The more occupational hazards there is, the lower the individual level psychology empowerment of workers. The research objectives are the following. Determine the profile of the respondents, their multi-designations for the past three years, way of IPCR computation, and their work satisfaction level. To develop a mathematical model to standardize the IPCR computation of faculty with multi-designations, evaluate its acceptability, and submit recommendations to the PSU Administration and Civil Service Commission related to IPCR computation. We are motivated to conduct the research, this research because, based on our pre-observation, there are various ways of computing the ratings of faculty with multi-designations. So, there is no standardized way of computing the ratings. And motivated by the provision of the Republic Act Number no. 6713, which encourages every department, office, and agency to conduct research and adapt innovative programs to provide motivation among officials and employees and leveling up public service ethical standards. For our methodology, our research design is descriptive developmental. A mathematical model is developed and was subjected to acceptability evaluation following the structure of the technology acceptance model or TAM as utilized by Luan Chin in 2013 and was also used by Conte in 2017 2018 and 2019. Local and respondents of the study was in Pangasinan State University, composed of nine component campuses, strategically located in different municipalities and cities in the province. Respondents are those with multi designations 
from the school year 2018-2019 to 2021. 20% of the population was utilized as sample where positive sampling was used. And for the evaluation of the acceptability of the model developed, PSG officials and administrators rated the evaluation composed by the HRMDO personnel, vice presidents, college deans, chairpersons, and mathematicians. For the questionnaire, the first one is composed of the profile of respondents, questions of the multi-designations, way of computing IPCR under level of work satisfaction. Acceptability evaluation of the mathematical model utilizing technology acceptance model, as for constructs, perceived usefulness, perceived ease of use, attitude towards usage, and intention to use. Frequency, percentage, and mean were utilized as statistical treatment of data. We have this study framework. So, faculty members are subjected to SPMS. Faculty profile such as qualifications and experiences are needed before they are designated with uh, positions or designations in the university. Added for their functions as faculty or administration 1 and administration 2 functions along with instruction, research, extension, and support to operations. Their functions are based on their targets, anchored on annual operational plan and strategic development plan of the university. With performance measures, individual commitment performance are rated. And because of the pre-observation that different ways are being practiced, a mathematical model of IPCR computation uh, will be proposed and hopefully be adopted. Before the adoption, it was subjected to acceptability tests. For the framework of the mathematical model, Overall IPCR performance is equal to the IPCR performance of the first designation plus appending additional points taken from the second uh, designation. Or mathematically, PRT2 is equivalent to PR1 plus PF or the plus factor taken from the second designation. Expounding the formula, okay, complement of the performance rating in the first designation times the proportion of the administrative part only of the second designation. For the results and discussions, the profile of the faculty with multi-designations, more than majority belong to the age range of 31 to 40 years old. Males were married in terms of civil status. 91% have finished their doctoral work for academic rank. They have diverse uh, academic ranks from instructor to professor and they have different length of years in PSU from 5 years and below to 20 years and above. Shows the nature of multi-designations of the faculty for the past 3 school years and we have 3 nature of multi-designations, campus level plus campus level designation, university level plus campus level and both university level designations. For the past three school years, uh, more were given the second nature, that is university level plus campus level. For 2020 to 2021, there were two of the respondents who were given both university level designations. So it can be gleaned from the table that all nature of multi designations are given or to faculty members who are qualified. For Table 3, uh, the different ways of IPCR computation are indicated and the table shows that various ways were being practiced. Some are using the computation of the campus level only. Others are only considering the university or higher level designations. Others are subjective. They use the IPCR of the designation with higher rating. Some are or were computing the average of the IPCRs of the two or three designations. And some computed the average of the administrative functions for both the designations and add to their other functions. 
So we have proven that the pre-observation is true. For the level of job satisfaction among the faculty with multi-designations, they are highly satisfied as indicated by the mean set or the grant mean of 7.89 in terms of their work environment. But they are very highly satisfied with the work activities and the opportunities to improve their competence, the teamwork in the organization, and they were very highly satisfied with the career advancement opportunities of their competence in general. For their satisfaction in terms of immediate supervisor's treatment and esteem needs, a grant mean of 8.46 or very highly satisfaction level was uh, perceived by our respondents. The overall grant mean of both the indicators, the work environment, and the immediate supervisor's treatment and esteem needs registered 8.24 overall grant mean or a very highly satisfaction level. Our mathematical model, PRT2 is equal to PR1 plus PF2, where PRT2 is the total performance rating for faculty with the two designations. PR1 is the performance rating in the first designation, which is the higher level. And PF is the plus factor with the following multiplicative components. First component. Component, the complement of the performance rating in the first designation, which maintain the limiting value of the overall performance rating that is 5.0. And the second component is the proportion of the administrative part only of the second designation, PR2, or PF is equal to G1 PRC1 times G2 PR admin 2. Since PRC1 is equal to 5 minus PR1, that's a complement of the performance rating of the first designation. Then G1 is equal to 5 minus PR1 over 5, and G2 is equal to W2 PR2, or the weight of the second designation multiplied to the rating for the second designation. Combining equations 1 and 2, the mathematical model for two designations is PRT2 is equal to PR1 plus a quantity of 5 minus PR1 over 5, times W2 times PR2. To understand the formula uh, better, we have here sample computation for a faculty designated as Campus Executive Director and a Deputy Director in PSU Schools of Advanced Studies. So, double designations. And assuming at the end of a semester, the IPCR rating for the first designation is 4.56, while P PR2 is 4.35. The weight for the admin admin function for the second designation is 60 or 0 0.60. That is our W2. So, using the formula, through substitution, 4.56 plus 5 minus 4.56 divided by 5 times uh, 0 0.60 times 4.35 is equal to 4.56 plus 0 0.22968. And finally, PRT2 is equivalent to 4.79. If you will compare the final rating of 4.79 to 4.56 or 4.35, it is higher than either of the both. So we are giving an added point okay, to the first rating of a multi-designated faculty member because if you will get the average of 4.56 and 4.35 the average will be lower than the 4.56 and it is unfair on the part of the faculty who is performing double designations so we thought of this mathematical model the person formula for total performance of faculty with more than two designation is PRT1 is equal to PRT1 plus PFI. So, where I is the number of designations, that is, I is equal to 2 or 3 or 4. So, for faculty with 3 designations, I is equivalent to 3. PRT3 is equal to PRT2 plus 5 minus PRT2 over 5 times W3 times PR3. So, 
for the last table, table 5 shows acceptability of the proposed mathematical model and the grand mean of 4.64 is an indication of a very highly acceptance level by uh, the uh, evaluators. The perceived usefulness is very highly acceptable. Attitude towards usage and intention to use is very highly acceptable. The perceived ease of use is highly acceptable and we believe there is a need for practice on the usage of the mathematical model in order to enhance the acceptability level of the perceived ease of use construct. Recommendations to propose the model to the University Performance Management Team for possible adoption, present the mathematical model to the Civil Service Commission for wider dissemination, University may practice multi-designations among faculty while providing them with more opportunities to grow and finally, to enhance the practice of the four-stage cycle of the process. We thank you very much. So that is all about our research and I hope you learned from it and uh, we are so happy because the judges during the presentation were able to appreciate our research output and with that we are happy to tell everyone that we are awarded with the best presenter award and at the same time the best paper award in an international research conference.